everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays XCOM 2. Hey, if you want to pick up XCOM 2, Humble sponsored these episodes. If you want to, you know, go to the store page, it's linked in the video description below. That is your right. Last episode, Josh got smoked and we failed to do a resistance mission, which apparently uses resistance personnel, not your actual squad. So we could have done that. That's one lesson learned. I wish I had learned that in advance or at least remembered it. That's on me. I did install the Gotcha Flank mod as well. That's going to be my improvement for this episode. 7 days, 13 hours, Operation Earthly Reckoning. We find a lead, potentially, and we also get uh, an engineer for this mission, so we certainly want to send uh, a squad, assuming we have enough people back at base here to handle this. So we have another... Um... Yeah, we can send a squad. We have another... Um... Send these guys nine days and then and then cut some people off. I, I love guaranteed damage. So who do you cut off of this? Um, extract VIP. You, you can cut a specialist if you have to. And um, you can cut a gunner. Roll grenadier, ranger, assault, shinobi, technical. Sharpshooter. Oh, we could definitely cut a sharpshooter. But you know what? Let's try to... We, we failed to put him on the last mission. So let's take him out on this one. Um... Yeah, we installed the Gotcha Flank mod, um, which I've seen screenshots of, and it's gorgeous. I'm so excited to, to see it in action here, but we're going to start this infiltration. There was another infiltration we had ongoing, this Recover Item one. Because we're low on intel, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to 100% readiness, so I'm probably going to stop, or at least I'm, I'm just not going to do that mission. Um, yeah, we got to 88. We get 28 intel. We, we can't do it, so... Must launch or abort? Abort, please. Rescue our squad members there. I'm not gonna send everybody into what... I mean, after the last mission, I want to be a little bit more cautious, although we do also want to not just... Uh... Like, we don't want to avoid missions that are obvious, like missions that should be easy for us to do. That one, I don't think is going to be easy for us to do. If we can get to 100% infiltration with or without intel, I'll take it. But that's a casualty of me using intel that I didn't necessarily have to use earlier, I suppose. Alright, so we got autoloader, PCS, PCS. Yeah, we didn't equip any special uh, weapons or anything on our other uh, squad members there, which was a little bit of a, a misstep. But we have... I, I'm not worried about that mission at all. That mission... Seems like it has a chance to go well. Oh, okay. How did you like it? You have outdone yourself. I mean, that's what I like to hear. Monthly supply income plus 18. Oh, it's, thanks. Really appreciate that. Wow, 16 supplies. Ooh, wow, what have I done or deserve? Such a generous bounty. I really appreciate those 16 supplies. You know what, though? That is enough. Yeah, we'll launch this. We get resistance personnel and a rookie, which actually we could use, so... Um, launch mission. 16 supplies is enough to allow us to start building the Guerrilla Tactics School. So we got Gan. We got Melennial. We got Goldman. And we got a random rookie. Is it really called Operation Star Slap? Actually, they're all rookies. So... I shouldn't be so cocky in this mission. What's nice about it is the fact that we got over 100% infiltration, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. And, uh... I mean, apart from that, we know what Gan Diesling's capable of. So the Gotcha Flank mod, in case I didn't explain it properly, it's basically just a visual indicator of when you're actually flanking an enemy, instead of trying to guess. So, I believe, like, you know how the you get, like, a red crosshair? if a potential move would put you in range of shooting an enemy. Now it gives you a, um, a yellow crosshair if it's a flank. I believe it also has indicators for squad sight, which is not relevant for us on this mission, as we have no sharpshooter or other unit that can take advantage of it, but still. All right, let's go, boys. Extract all XCOM soldiers. There's the cell. Just one? Right, there are only two VIPs here. And because we're in darkness, we have no idea how long it's going to take us to get there. But 14 turns? 14 turns. Okay. And uh, there. The evac point is kind of far away. But you got to do what you got to do. So let's start. Go upstairs. Good vantage points. Opportunities to... Uh, opportunities to, to pivot once you get up there. 
Like, I think this is fine. That's turn one. 14 turns goes by real fast. I mean, the average XCOM mission is probably like nine turns, but 14 turns is no joke, man. That's... That's still relatively fast. On my way. No advent on the roof, please. So we're going to be able to get to here. Which is going to give us a good indication of what's going down on the ground over there. I'm going to make uh, a bit of a bold move here. Want to Wanna get some vision on the ground. Nothing. Okay. So what that allows me to do is do this. And now... You know, that means that we can be much more aggressive on uh, on this turn, which is extremely valuable for us, again, in, in case I haven't articulated myself that well. It's extremely valuable for us because it allows me to make broader moves or, or longer moves every single turn here, which is important in getting us to that, uh, to, the, to the zone where we need to be before that turn timer really becomes a clusterfuck. So we absolutely want to go on these guys. On this... Oh, that's a, that's a drone. The drone does not bother me at all. But... The sectoid pod does. Heading to that location. Please, please tell me that Gan can get into position to have a shot. Are you fucking kidding me? He can't. He can't. All right, so we're not going to go on them this turn because with four squad members, I feel like we really need the whole squad to get this taken care of. Okay, so they're going to move closer into our range, which is perfect. Uh, although, uh, no, they're still they're still really close. So I want one grenade to get a double kill, and then I want the uh, sectoid to trigger three Overwatches. That's my play. You're not coming up to the roof. I, I may be hopeful, like we one Overwatch is unnecessary. All right. Uh, there's two drones, or actually that guy probably just basically teleported. Fine by me. Sick. Uh, we're going to get spotted this turn anyway. So, you look at who has the best shot on the sectoid, I think. 69. 86, wow. 67. Dude, Gan Diesling is our boy. On aim, at least. So, Melennial is the worst. That means she's going to throw the grenade... Everybody else is going to be on Overwatch. Please tell me that the scattering is going to start with the sectoid. By the way, it would be beautiful if you just picked up a double kill here. Just throwing that out there. Okay, you got one at least. I can live with it. Now if we just had a four damage Overwatch shot on these guys, that would be exquisite. Here we go. Gan did not disappoint, dude. I definitely got that one. All right, so the, we know the drones are going to be pissed. Uh, if they come up, we do have one Overwatch. And say what you will about Goldman, he doesn't fuck around. That's four aliens dead in four actions. Sick nasty. Hopefully there's only two pods here. Um... I mean, to be straight up with you, that's pretty much as lucky as we could have expected to get. Okay, we got another pod. Basically, we have to keep moving. So I'm not disappointed by the fact that we cracked a pod. You know you gotta find them. So, um, you might as well accept it. By the way, maybe we can get a preview of Gotcha Flank. Look at the Advent Officer. That means we got a flank on him. Unfortunately, like, it would also mean we're taking a yellow move. So, not particularly thrilled with that option, but maybe we can get some gotcha flanks from up here, and we actually can. This is where all of a sudden I'm like, I'm living in a dream. So do we take there's a couple of different ways to approach this, I guess. Like, I like the 84% chance to hit, but it does mean we can't hit two of these guys with one flashbang. Even Millennial, who's slightly further ahead. Uh, well, she doesn't have a grenade active, so she's basically gonna get behind cover, because her, her shot is going to suck. So she might as well just move behind cover, but we don't have to do it immediately necessarily. Um, and again, we're looking for more gotchas. There's another one. So we're going to take two shots at the officer, I think, and then if we can get another shot... These guys have grenades, by the way. If, if one of them one-shots the officer, like Gan, who has such ridiculous aim, if he one-shots the officer with a crit, 
Which he didn't, but good try. Um, we could have used a grenade instead with, with uh, Elizabeth Wood here, but... Sadly, Elizabeth Wood cannot land that shot. So basically, take your 65. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's a crit. And it wouldn't have gotten a one hit anyway, so that's probably fine. Now, we have two actions left. I would very much like for Goldman to be able to land a grenade on this unit. Possibly kill it. If not kill it, destroy the cover so that we have a flank for Elizabeth to use. Or we, we have a... Uh, that they'll not be behind cover, so Elizabeth can take the shot. And then she'll still be flankable, but I think you you accept that as the cost of doing business. Oh, no, she doesn't have a shot at this guy. Okay, so, I mean, she could go on Overwatch, but it's, it's much more sensible for her to get behind full cover. So we got two shots coming in. Oh, there's another drone as well. Was that two moves? That was two moves, okay. Well, thank God we didn't leave her there, because she'd be in trouble. Overwatch ready for anything apparently is a, a passive ability. If you don't um, take an action, they can get an extra uh, Overwatch. They can get a free Overwatch, I should say. And they you also got Overwatch ready for anything? That sucks. All right. Oh, no, wait. You're, no, no, they both have Overwatch ready for anything. Well, I mean, it would be nice if the drone went, but it's our secondary priority right now. So step one... Basically, just bust this dude up. Yeah, okay. I stand by it. Wow. I mean, it, d it did say ready for anything, so I don't know what I expected. <laughs> but I, I kind of thought the grenade didn't count as anything. Maybe, maybe my uh, idiocy there. Now, you. Can you land a flashbang that far? No. So, basically, if you're, if you're going for this, you're rolling the dice. I think on this turn, can we, yeah, we can rush to that loot next time. Okay. On this turn, I think uh, we're going to do our damnedest to take out this drone. And I want to move here just in case there's a line of sight like flank on from that guy. So we're going to move Gan right here. It would be really nice if he just did four damage to it right off the bat. Actually, completely acceptable. And I'm playing it a little slower than usual here. 58%. Um, put it here. Um, to get a better better shot at this, basically. Acceptable. Um, and then put her on Overwatch. And I don't like to go this slowly, but, um, sure, I, you know, he can keep taking pot shots. If we're rolling the dice at each other, that's okay by me. Of course, I would prefer to be in a, a better position where we didn't have to roll the dice at one another. But you gotta do what you gotta do. How does he still get Overwatch out of that? You get one action and the Overwatch ready for anything? Well, you know, you, you reach a point at which, uh, let me just put it this way, a man has his limits. So I think we gotta we gotta bait out that Overwatch with a with a long distance run. She did get tagged, but we have to move. If we don't move, you know, reinforcements are coming here. So um, we we want to get out to like. I mean, it would be awesome to be here because that would be a flank, but we can't get that far. So we have to like do it piecemeal. So first turn, we're gonna do this. It's going to be a 12% chance. I mean, they're probably going to take a shot at me, which sucks, but... Who would have thought one dude would be this annoying? And we're not going to be able to grab that. Well, that's not fair. We are able to grab that loot. Is it worth the run is the real question. So it leaves us extremely vulnerable on a wounded unit. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that... You'd straight up just come out here with one ammo. Uh, and we, we need to keep moving as well. That's the other thing. The wounded soldiers don't bother me. It's, uh... uh... Honestly, I don't know. Maybe you should just hunker. Are you the one most likely to get shot at? Uh, if you hunker, they're just going to shoot a Gan. So you might as well Overwatch in the hopes that he moves. Although Gan, oh, the Overwatch seems smart, but maybe it's just because the AI is sort of, you know, bad. 
uh, on normal difficulty. Yeah, I didn't get it. Well, he had to move and reload, but he moved far enough that we might not be in grenade range with anybody who has a grenade. This guy's a real asshole. It's basically my opinion on the subject. Um, since when is one enemy supposed to be this nasty, man? Alright, so straight up. Millennial. You're going in there. You got a 12% chance to hit. You're going to flashbang him. Basically, we need to keep moving. As much as I dislike the fact that you know this guy is basically dictating all of our foreign policy right now you know we gotta we gotta play his game sadly seven turns is not a whole lot of time and this guy is it's proven to be a real piece of shit to be honest with you I mean I don't he's just in a video game I'm not like that perturbed about it but I wish he would basically just fuck off um, nobody's on overwatch by the way so this guy can make a move if he wants I wish he wouldn't. I wish that he would just hunker and not do Overwatch ready for anything. What's he doing here? Maybe take a shot at someone in half cover? Good dodge, gold man. Good dodge. You're gonna you're gonna survive one mission, I promise you. Let me guess Overwatch ready for anything. Okay, so we have reinforcements incoming. We have to kill this guy this turn. Otherwise, we're, we're not even worth the freaking salt that we're printed on here. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Blow up this wall. Although that is the wall that our VIPs are inside of. Assuming it won't kill them, maybe it'll give me access to them. A little dicey. Like, maybe we can go in through that wall now? Appears not. Um... Okay, someone's got to hit this guy. Melennial has the flank, so that's perfect. Maybe she should have just done that to begin with. Oh, 59%? Yeah, she definitely should have done that without me wasting the grenade in the action. But that's, that's life, dude. Basically, I hate this, but because there's overwatches... Or, sorry, because there's reinforcements incoming, I think we have to wait one more turn... And go on Overwatch. And, uh... We basically, because we want to neuter these pods that are about to drop before they get here. That last... That enemy took too long. And I'll, I'll take some ownership for that. But at the same time, like, fuck. That was extremely annoying, man. Alright. Now, if two of you would die before even becoming a danger for me, that would be swell, dude. I mean, we got Overwatches from point-blank range. So, that's a start. Yeah. I'd get him next time. Well, uh, somebody has a grenade, surely. Oh my god, nobody has a grenade. Well, okay, here's how you... This is how we do it. Just trying to see, like, what... You... Ah, Jesus Christ, okay. Come on in, buddy. Water's fine. Oh, there he is. Yeah, shot him in the dick until he died. Okay. I'm starting to think we might fail this mission. And I have to I have to accept that that possibility could happen. But as long as everybody lives, it's going to be easier to stomach. Great damage. You are a god. You can't handle my strongest shots, Traveler. My shot, my strongest shots would leave you in the ground. All right, wait. Someone's got to open this fucking door. It, it's it's a serious problem. Gan cannot even throw a flashbang. All right, so Gan, you got sick cover here, dude. Open the door, because we gotta make we gotta make plays next turn. I forgot we actually had two units left over here. Open the door. He fucking hates the door. Yeah, okay. What's the problem? 50%, 39%. Oh, please. Gan, if there is a god. He's done it. Okay, so then you got this motherfucker right here. What's your play on this guy? You got a 20% chance. Except 
that the Overwatch is not going to be amazing here necessarily. Okay, they went for Overwatch ready for anything, which means we have a way out. Wait, was it, was it ready for anything? If it was, we have a way out. How is... This isn't a flank. That's a flank. Um, because straight up... Mel, Eniel... Oh, she doesn't have a grenade. Okay. Dan's got to make a move. So you two are in charge of this. So please don't let him see you as you throw this grenade. Blinded by the improvised explosive incendiary device. And uh, another runner in the night and all that. Okay, so this is where we get our money's worth. Dust him. Good crit, good crit, son, good crit. All right, all the aliens are dead. At this point... Wait, Gan is bad at... Running. How's Millennial? All oh, not as bad. So she can get over here and open up this door for next time. And then how the f oh, we get out that way? Okay, we got four turns. That's not good. Oh no, kidding! Hostile interceptors are incoming. Who would have fucking thought, dude? Oh, let me get out my iPad. Um, sure. 3% chance of increasing. Oh, God, it almost happened. I believed she was going to become our super hacker. All right, male fucking annual. If you say so. Dude, this mission is actually. I'm not saying we played well. Gan finally figured out how to use those pesky human doors. I'm not saying this mission, like, we played super well. The fact that it seems like we're gonna make it out of here, not only with all soldiers, but, like, with the VIPs is incredible to me. Because things were looking real tight. I think we gotta say, Gan Diesling, you know, sleeper choice for, like, Soldier of the Year right now. That was some, like, his, his aim stat is ridiculous. So, Gan, you make it out there. Get as far as you can go. We're gonna, it's gonna be, like, by the skin of our teeth. But everyone's gonna make it. And honestly, we needed a rookie. I mean, we lost two rookies to injury. Not death, thankfully, but to injury. So, just the, the fact that we're, uh, stuck in the cupboard is not necessarily more important. But, good job, everybody. Keep in mind, we're also, I think we got like a little loot, and we're going to get four promotions? We should get four promotions. So I think we're going to get unacceptable on this mission. A-N, acceptable. Good job, team. Wow, that was actually like a very harrowing mission, but we got it done, and I'm... If anything, I'm really pleased that we managed to make a four-unit mission work. Uh, we killed 12 enemies. We got excellent, not even acceptable, so that's even better. Whew. That was tough, though. There were some times where I was like, someone's going down here. But you, you did good, kid. You did good. The ambush went fine. That one dude lived forever, and I hated him, but eventually we got him, and he only... I think he had gold man once. Everybody else lived. Well, everybody else survived with injuries, perhaps. And, uh... We get VIPs. Was one of them an engineer? I think it was, it was resistance personnel and, um... A rookie, right? Alright, here come the promotions. We got another grenadier. She's wounded... But nine days is not that bad. Let me get a squad sight. Uh, sharpshooter. Oh, Gan Diesling has returned. The one and future king. Congratulations. Yeah, we get uh, a resistance personnel and Anna Kozlova, who is a recruit. So I just want to go to command here and uh, go to resistance management. How, how are they doing in West Asia, Nick? New Arctic. Bear Taffy, uh, Yegor Solovyov. Who's this? 
I guess we should definitely be using these people on missions. Like, we should definitely be doing these missions, because these people, like... They seem pretty good, to be honest. Heat warheads? Anyway, uh, you're going to be on Intel, because that's what people told me to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. I think tactically we did fine there. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, uh, thanks again to Humble for sponsoring some in iteration of the series. You can check out Humble 2, or uh, check out XCOM 2 on the Humble Store, linked in the video description below. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.